the number one key to all success. My definition of success changed through the years to doing what I want, when I want, where I want, with whomever I want, as much as I want, in a way that hopefully also benefits other people simultaneously. That to me is ultimate freedom, that's success. How many of you are willing to play with that as the definition, at least for this weekend, say aye? Aye! I was opposed, motion's carried. Now, that was my idea of success, and I'd had that in my life, and I wanted it again. So I thought, okay, what I need to learn is what is, there are all these things you can do. There's this and this and this, all these different elements you can study. I want to know one thing. What's the one thing, if you just work on that, everything else will fall into place? What is the number one key to all success? That's all I want to know. So I went around, and I started studying it. I started picking up books, and have you ever done this? Have you ever asked yourself a question, picked up a book, opened the right, maybe the middle of the book, and there's the exact answer you were looking for? How many have had an experience like that? So here I am, and sure enough, I'm reading through this book, and I open it up, whammo, it says the number one key to all success is. Almost the very way I had language in my head. So I thought, sure enough, here it is, goal setting. I figured, that's true. Because if you don't have a goal, you have no reason to use your skill or ability. I heard that old phrase that said, well, a man without a goal is like a ship without a rudder. They both end up on the rocks. Kind of corny, but true. I thought, that is it. The number one key to success is goal setting. Of course, I'm a good student, so I always read another book. The second book says, forget goal setting. Goal setting is nice, but that is not it. You can set goal to your blue, goals to your blue in the face. What you've got to learn to do in your life is manage your time. Because you can have great goals, but if you don't manage your time, time is the only resource you can control. It is your life. I thought, that's true. The number one key to all success, time management. Of course, then I read a third book. It said, forget time management, forget goals. The whole key to it all is discipline. You can play with your time management all day long, but if you can't discipline yourself, you've got nothing. I thought, that's true, it's discipline. Until I read the fourth book, which says, forget discipline, forget time, and forget all this stuff, it's all belief. Because if you're disciplined but you don't believe it's going to work, it won't. Or even if it does, you won't see it working. Now, by the way, which one of these is truly the number one foundational key to all success? That's right, they all are. In fact, the list doesn't end here, does it? So that got me frustrated. I thought, God, how do you work on all these things simultaneously? I want to know the one thing that if you worked on this alone, everything else would fall into place. And I searched and I searched and I interviewed people until one day I came across the number one key to all success in life. If you're interested, you might want to write this down. Only if you're interested in the number one key to all success in life. If not, don't bother to jot it down. The answer I came up with, the number one key to all success is knowledge. Knowledge. I said, certainly people who succeed, they know things that other people just don't know. That's why they're so much more successful. I thought, knowledge is it. And as soon as I wrote down knowledge in my notes, I crossed it out because that's definitely not it. How could you even write that down? Come on. you got to know better than that. See, if it was knowledge and everybody who's educated would be successful, and you know that's not true, right? How many of you in this room, how many of you people in this room right now know somebody who should change their life, they know they should change their life, they even know how they could change their life, but they still don't do it? How many of you know somebody like this maybe intimately? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So knowledge by itself is not enough. See, knowing is great, but it's not enough. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is information. Power is something else. And what I think is the really number one key to all success is something I call personal power. This is really it. Jot it down. <laughs> personal power. That, to me, is the single number one foundational key to all success. If you use it, you can get everything else that you want. Personal power means the ability to take action, to follow through to take the steps that are necessary to take an idea and translate it into reality. And it's the number one tool that most people in life never exercise, and it's the gift that every one of us has right now and at any moment in our life. Even if you haven't used this gift for 20 years, right now, by one decision, you could start using your power. You could start following through. You could take this idea in your head and turn it into physical reality. Whether that idea is how you want to make your relationship or how you want to influence your children or the kind of money you want to make or a business you want to start, it doesn't matter. It is available right now. If all you do is decide and then follow through. Now you go, but Tony, what if I do all that stuff and it doesn't work? <laughs> Guess what? You'll learn something. Tony, hard to imagine this now as we look at you in this setting. But when you were in that 400 square foot apartment, 38 pounds overweight, broke, 
in this deep, dark hole, couldn't get out. What was the first thing you did? What was the first thought you had to get yourself out? I think part of it is I felt so darn much pain, I had to change. You know, I was in a place where I, I, I hated what I was doing. I hated the environment. I thought to myself, why do I have to do this? Why am I experiencing all this in my life? I don't want to work. I don't want to do any of these things. And that didn't change me. I, once I got enough pain, one day I changed the question I was asking myself. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying, why do I have to do this? Or how come this has happened to me? I asked the question of, what would happen if? Mm. What would happen if I turned my whole life around? What would happen if, all of a sudden, I went and learned some things that could change it all? And what I began to do, literally, is open up a new possibility. I think most people's lives, they fail primarily because they don't open up the possibility, so they never take the actions that could change their life. And because I asked, how can I turn my life around? You know, what can I do to make things work? I started getting new answers. You know, they say, ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. And the key is, if you ask, why is my life so horrible, you'll get lots of information about why it's horrible. <laughs> if you say, why can't I ever succeed, your brain will tell you all the reasons why you can't. If you say, how come I always succeed? How can I turn this around? How can I make my life greater? How can I contribute? You'll get those answers, too. If you want to change your life, change the quality of questions you ask yourself each day.